Hello everyone, Manny here, and today we're looking at part 3 of our survival scrap farm. So this time, we want to try to get some armor out there for our settlers. So we're hoping that we ended up with enough scrap to make that a reality. But looking through the coffers, I don't know. And we'll talk about it a little bit more when we check out the recipes. But first, let's do a little bit of speed building to speed this party up. Right, man so we got both of our machines down did a little bit of wiring a little bit of cleaning up just to make it look cool you know we want our stuff to look aesthetic all right so I put an auto loom here and an armor factory because my hopes is that we can make some under armor to go with our over armor but again I don't know man I was taking a look at some of the crafting recipes and it's not looking too good for the home team but let's go on ahead and check it out all right so let's take a look at some of the crafting recipes for under armor yep and it seems like there's only like clothing armor but that doesn't let you put actual armor on top of it which is kind of a bummer man i was really hoping for you know the ability to make some long johns or something oh well let's go on ahead and check out the armor forge now so as you can see there's heavy medium and light variants of each set of armor except for the dlc armors which kind of suck but more importantly man that's really expensive i mean really like what's funny is that you can scrap armor but all you get is steel and it doesn't matter what rank of scrapper you have all you'll get is steel because scrapper only works on weapon modifications which is bullshit but 10 aluminum eight ballistic fiber that's a lot man that's a deep decent bit because that's rare scrap. Well, I had to go on ahead and buy some shipments to get this to work just for the video because while my guys bring in a lot of scrap, they bring in a lot of bullshit scrap. They don't really bring in the really important stuff like they're really hard up on getting copper, really hard up on getting aluminum and ballistic fiber, but we went on ahead and took care of it. So we ended up with only two full sets of armor, two in a whole bunch of uh, random pieces because if you guys didn't see from the build, uh, 
or from the speed part a little bit earlier, the weapon parts come out randomized. Sometimes you'll get a full set, but most of the time they'll be like three arms, three chest pieces, and then it'll make a full set, which I don't know, man, it's just kind of pointless. While we fly the armor to the homies at Murkwater, I just wanted to say that this is not really that viable. If you really want to armor up and weaponize your settlements pretty easily, and you have the capabilities of having Wasteland Workshop, I would go with the Gunner XP build. Namely, you make about 20 gunner cages and then you slaughter those guys because they come with really high power weapons, really good armor, and then if you don't need it, you can always sell it, plus tons of experience. So, I would think about that. I'm going to leave it in the description and maybe an annotation at the end of the video, but you know, check that out definitely. So now, let's get these guys suited up at Murkwater and see what we can do. Well, alright man. It was extremely expensive, but I gotta say, aesthetically it was worth it, man. These dudes out here look really ready. I doubt they'd be able to survive what the hell happens out here in Murkwater. But, we've given them at least a fighting chance. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Next time, we're gonna do weapons factories. I'm sure that's gonna be boatloads of fun, but... You guys let me know what you want to see in these uh, little tutorial videos because Fallout's kind of old now. I don't know what you guys want to see. So if you let me know, I can make videos. And also, it took me a minute to kind of understand my new recording software, but now that I got it down packed, I think we're good to go. Anyways, catch you later, guys.